We uh, enter this election not as far down the road as I would have liked, um, and I think that a lot of members would have liked as well. We entered it weakened. And you're right, this is an extraordinary set of circumstances. Green Party leader Annamie Paul uh, sitting down with uh, Chief Political Correspondent Rosemary Barton as part of the CBC's Face to Face series. She is there admitting that she considered stepping down as leader during the Greens' nasty internal squabble just before the election and says she'll consider her political future once the election results are in. We're going to Mike Schreiner, the leader of Ontario's Green Party, to get some reaction, and he is in Guelph, Ontario. Hi, Mike. Um, I, I wonder if I could David. start uh, just looking at this admission. I know it's probably not the thing that Annamie Paul wants to be talking about, but it is the thing that in many ways has overshadowed uh, the pre-campaign and now the campaign. Do you think that kind of an admission could, could hurt her in the eyes of those who might be thinking, you know, do I vote for this party when the leader is contemplating stepping down, did contemplate stepping down? I don't think so. I think Annamie Paul's performance in the debate was fantastic. Most commentators have said she won the debate. And so you can feel momentum building for the party. I was in her riding in Toronto Centre over the weekend. A lot of buzz, a lot of people wanting to take selfies with her. Uh, I was just in Kitchener Centre this morning with Ms. Paul and Mike Morris, a candidate there, Lots of excitement. All new leaders uh, face some challenges. I mean, I remember Jagmeet Singh going into the 2019 election with internal squabbles within the NDP, people questioning his leadership. I mean, it was just a few months ago that Mr. O'Toole said, hey, we're going to put a price on carbon. And his members said, hey, we don't believe in climate change. And who will ever forget the internal squabbles between the Martin and Cretchen wings of the Liberal Party? So I think Greens are, are united right now and are excited in these final days of the campaign. Okay, I, I hear you saying that, but I also look at our poll tracker, the aggregation of a lot of polls, and see that the, the Greens have actually declined in support quite considerably, uh, down at 3.5% right now. How much of that sticks to the leader? Well, you know what? While we may be down a bit in national polls, if you look at some writing by writing results, so I think of I think Elizabeth May and Paul Manley in BC, excellent chances of being reelected. I see Mike Morris in Kitchener Center, excellent chance of being elected. Nicole O'Byrne in uh, Fredericton, an excellent chance to be elected. I mean, Annamie Paul's running a strong campaign in Toronto Center. So I would say hopefully our vote will be efficient and concentrated in those strong writings. Uh, I, I notice you attached excellent chance of being elected to a lot of the ridings, but you didn't do so for Toronto Centre, the one that she's actually running in, a, a riding that has long been Liberal. What does it do if the Greens do win other seats, but the leader is not herself in Parliament? Well, first of all, I would say that I uh, received about 20% of the vote in the 2014 election and vaulted in to first place, 45% in the next election. Annamie Paul got 32% in the by-election just less than a year ago. So don't count Annamie Paul out in Toronto Centre. And I think in terms of the future of the party, that'll be evaluated after the election. Do you think that, you know, what what does the campaign itself to do? You say most commentators, and I think we could, we'll just have to agree that some commentators thought that she came out of the, the debate quite well, um, held her own and raised ideas in what was otherwise a fairly messy and chaotic format. But, you know, she went into this fighting for her own political future. And it looked like that was just put on ice for the purpose of the campaign so that at least there would be a leader. What changes that dynamic coming out the back end? If you win the same number of seats, you win fewer seats, what is the dynamic at that point for the, for the Greens leadership? Well, I think the Green Party members will decide that after the election. I think right now, Annamie Paul had an opportunity with the debates to introduce herself on a national stage, and she performed very well. Poise. She's daring. She has bold ideas. She's the kind of voice we need in Parliament. I can't. I even heard one media commentator say, I'm not supposed to be partisan, but man, we need Annamie Paul's voice in Parliament. And so I think that debate performance really set her up and electrified momentum in her campaign and other Green campaigns across the country. All right. Mike Schreiner, Ontario Green Party leader, thanks very much for your thoughts. Thanks, David.